And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Dosa. Aim, throw, Dosa. This is mag dropping, which essentially takes these discs, which feel like hockey pucks. I'm really, I'm really wanting to bust these open to see what's exactly on the inside of these, but these discs, when you throw them a certain way, land and stick. Like you just heard it, it landed, stick, didn't roll. Normally, when you throw something, you heard it roll a little bit there. These drop and stick. That's the whole point of this game. Let me show you. So the way that mag drop works, or these mag drop discs, so I'm not really sure about the science of these. Like normally when you throw discs, they might, uh, you know, tumble or roll. But the way mag drop works, so if I just throw it like that, you'll see how it kind of rattles around. Mag drop is supposed to work where it just lands and stops. So you have to spin the disc a little bit, and you see it just lands right on it. That's it. You know, that was pretty good there. So when it's your turn, you're going to throw these three discs at the table, and you'll set it up probably farther apart than I have it here. Um, so let's try this here. So I'm going to stand farther back this time. If it lands without a mag drop, you know, you just get a point. If it lands mag drops on the board, you get the value of that board. If it's fully inside the white circle, you get that mag drop. If it lands... Uh, basically, partially or between the boards, you get no points. So if it touches the board, but it wasn't a mag drop, you just get one point. So let me go stand way back here and see what I can do. Oh, close. So that one there is not worth anything. There we go. Look at that. That's 10 points I got. Mag dropped right in the middle. So that's pretty much the game. You know, you're just going to take these discs and mag drop them. Let's try it again. Nope. So that one landed, it didn't mag drop, so that's just worth one point. That one mag dropped, and it's just going to get me one point, be, or it's going to get me two points, because it's a two-point board. So that's that. So when you get these boards, you have to put these, like, little stickers on the back of them, which are basically just have it so that when they're on the table, they won't slide around as much, especially if the table itself is hard. The game comes with just a single sheet of rules. Actually, the pictures on the front show you more than the rules themselves. Uh, it comes with a bag that you can put everything in, although really you have to work hard to get these boards in this bag. They're like just literally just the length of the boards. And then the discs themselves, which are really nice quality. And again, still not 100% sure how this works. You know, you can see it, that's a regular drop, but just spinning it, that mag drop board just kind of, that doesn't, that's not a mag drop, but that's not a mag drop. But if it, neither is that. I'm not sure what exactly makes, that's a mag drop. It just kind of, it, it, it looks like it has a magnet. It looks like it lands on the board and just sticks there like that. But I don't know. I don't know how the technology works. I looked it up, but couldn't find anything. The game also comes with a score pad where you can keep track of the points. The whole point of Dosa is the gimmick. These discs themselves, where when you throw them, not a mag drop, not a mag drop, mag drop. You know, that whole, it sticks on the board. It's fun to throw things at boards and try to make it land. There's lots of games that do such things, from lawn darts to, you know, bean bags. This works, it works outside, works inside, and you don't have to worry about things being thrown around. Like with a ball, it's gonna bounce everywhere. This might roll a little bit, but if you throw them properly, that one wasn't thrown properly because you can hear that rolling of it. Boom. They stick and it's neat. And you're like, how's that work? Is it Velcro? Is it magnets? I don't know. But I'm sure someone will tell us in the comments. But the whole thing works. I also like that this box here, don't need it. Don't need the box at all because you can just carry everything in the bag. And this is what I'll store at my house. This works with kids, especially. I played it with a whole lot of them. I also just like to sit around and do it with my family too. So. That's Dosa. Pretty simple game. A lot of fun. Check it out. Dice Tower Judgment approved.